Hello students I hope you have watched my first video on chapter 1 If not please do watch it Today let's discuss chapter 2 Windows 7 and operating system Windows 7 is a very popular operating system an operating system is a must to work with a computer without it a computer is just a body without soul an operating system is a software program that enables the computer hardware to communicate and operate with the computer software software refers to a collection of computer programs that performs some tasks on a computer system do you remember the three stages of working of a computer a computer works in the following three steps they are input process and output now let's discuss about the working of a computer the processing job of a computer is performed by the software it takes input from the user processes the input and turns it into output now let's discuss about the types of operating system there are two types of operating systems they are single user operating system and multi user operating system now let's discuss about the single user operating system a single user operating system allows only one person to work on it at a time microsoft dos and mac os and all versions of windows are the example of single user operating system single user operating systems are usually used at home or in small concerns now let's discuss about the multi user operating system a multi user operating system allows many people to work on it at a time therefore this main computer is connected with many other computers some examples of multi user operating system are unix netware linux etc multi user operating systems mainly help in offices big organizations such as hospitals railway stations etc now let's discuss about microsoft windows one of the most popular systems is the microsoft windows it gets loaded into the computer memory when we switch on the computer while loading the picture of the windows flag will appear on the screen a few seconds after the windows flag appears then a screen with many small pictures comes and still on the monitor this screen sticks and does not change itself automatically further now let's discuss about the icons on the desktop an icon on the desktop represents a program or a software we can open the software by clicking on its icon this is called executing the program some common icons have been shown here find them out on the desktop of your computer The icons shown here are computer, network, recycle bin and internet explorer. We can open the program on the desktop by clicking the left mouse button once on the icon and then pressing the enter key. Computer. Computer folder contains a list of storage devices. It also contains control panel. It contains other special programs also. Recycle bin. The recycle bin is a container of deleted files. It is also a container of deleted folders of the computer. The deleted files and folders can also be taken back when needed. 
my document this folder is used to store files and folders internet explorer this program enables us to browse the internet we can search any information on the internet now let's discuss about the taskbar the thin strip at the bottom of the screen is the taskbar the taskbar contains buttons with icons which represent the programs that are opened on the system the above picture of a taskbar shows that corel draw and other programs are open now let's discuss how we can change the position of taskbar the position of the taskbar can be changed on the screen it can be taken to any of the four sides on the screen step 1 bring the mouse pointer on the taskbar step 2 click and hold the mouse button step 3 drag the mouse pointer to the right of the computer screen step 4 release the mouse button the taskbar will have its new location that is to the right of the computer screen we can open start menu by pressing the given key of our keyboard now let's discuss about the start button the start button appears on the left corner of the taskbar it is the gateway to the windows and used to start any program clicking on the start button displays a menu moving the mouse pointer to these icons will display their sub menus now let's move on to exercises let's begin with tick the correct option first question is which one is not a multi user operating system option a windows option b linux option c unix and the right option is option a windows second question is it is a container of deleted files option a computer option b recycle bin option c document and the right option is option b recycle bin now let's move on to fill in the blanks with the words given in the box first question is a dash operating system allows only one person to work on it at a time and the right answer is a single user operating system allows only one person to work on it at a time second question is unix is an example of a dash operating system and the right answer is unix is an example of a multi user operating system third question is dash gets loaded into the computer memory when we switch on the computer and the right answer is ms windows gets loaded into the computer memory when we switch on the computer that's all for today in our upcoming videos we shall discuss about wallpaper screen saver running an application minimize maximize and close buttons sleep mode and restarting computer thank you and have a nice day